You have reached the National Sexual Assault Hotline, <laughs> operated by Rain. To continue in English, press 1. To reach a hotline staff member in your area, please press 1 now. If you are a member of the U.S. military, or... Please hold while we connect your call to the Rape Treatment Center nearest you. <laughs> Calling RCS, Christina speaking. May I connect you to a counselor? Yes, please. And which city and state, please? Detroit, Michigan. I do apologize. You have the wrong RCS number. Are you sure? Yes. How can I get a hold of someone in Detroit? Um, I would search RCS Detroit and type in the city and state. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good fucking day. You too. It's alcohol. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I have a question. Sure. I was just at a party and my best friend. She drank a bit too much alcohol, and she is passed out. How do I tell if she's poisoned or not? Uh, I, she just drank alcohol? Yeah, she drank a lot of uh, Smirnoff. Okay. Well, uh, people pass out on alcohol. I, uh, you know, check her vital signs. Make sure she's okay. Okay, um, but we're, we're outside of a house right now. Should I take her home or should I take her to the ER? No, she just passed out. I don't think you need to go to the ER. I think you just probably should take her home. How do I check her vital signs? Like, what do I look for? It's, you know, heartbeat and, uh, you know, make sure she's, you know, try to get her conscious again and talking and. Yeah, you do those things. Um, how do I check her pulse? <sighs> Hold, just put her fingers on, on, on her wrist. Okay. Okay, well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh my god, this is gold! <laughs> Josh, call him. Doesn't show up. Why me? You haven't added anything to it. I'm gonna do some cyberbullying thing. Does that sound good? Yeah. So you're no, getting cyberbullied from these no, it's, kids it's, at your school. No, it's, it's child what? abuse. It's child abuse. Okay. Child abuse. <laughs> I'm gonna make them some story that my uh, grandfather locked me in a basement and tied me to a wall. All right, all right. John, that's mean because you know a kid that this happened. This is the Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline. If this is a life-threatening emergency. Child Help Crisis Counselor, how may I help you? Hi, um, do you guys deal in cyberbullying? Um, well, what kind of situation is going on? Well, there's some kids in my school and they're making fun of me on Facebook. And I, I'm, I don't want to respond back to them because I know my school has a no bullying policy. And just my bad luck, um, they bring me up on bullying charges. There's a zero, po zero tolerance policy. I don't know who to go to to get help for this. Okay, so you can hit the report button on Facebook. Okay, let me go to that right now. Um, I'm, I have my laptop right next to me, so um, let me find these guys. 
Okay. Okay, well, that's all you're going to need to do. Just go ahead and do that. And, and then if you want to make an anonymous that report. Stop their account from commenting on me? I'm, I'm, um, I, if you um, block the person. I block the person. Okay. They don't teach us this stuff at school. It'd be really helpful if they would like bring anti-bullying into the uh, curriculum. I, I I think there's a lot of people that suffer from the same thing that I do. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes. Okay. I I really want to thank you for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Who says that? John, it's a child abuse center, not a cyber boy. I, I actually like recorded myself blocking Dakota Evans on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That one's going up. I'm sorry. I wanted to sound like a complete queer so that, like, she'd actually, like, believe me. I'm not gonna run there like, Oh my god, my dad's beating me with a banana! <laughs> <laughs> my dad is beating me with a banana! Help me! Should I do that? Josh, it's your turn now. Josh, do that. Just scream, my dad's beating me with a banana. John, record Josh now. I'm about to give him a call. All right. I'm, uh, I'm doing stop. something. Crisis line, how may I help you? Hi. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. This is kind of hard to explain, so could you give me a second? Sure. All right. I was recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, mm -hmm. and... My family thinks I'm like an outcast and they won't buy me my medicine that I need. And I'm scared because my number is always running really high. And I'm thinking of running away, but I don't know where to run to. But I need a place to go because I need to be able to get my medicine and my parents won't pay for it. Do you think it would be safer to run away? I think it would be safer to run away if I could get to a place that would help me. So you have to get your medicine. Yes. Same thing. And I'm only 16, so I can't be eman emancipated until right. 17. So I can't sign for my own medical bills at all. Mm -hmm. And then what's making your parents not want to pay for your medicine? They don't want to pay for it because it costs about... I think around 600 for test strips per month and about 300 for Novolog and another 300 for the um, Lantus. So they just don't want to pay for it? No, we don't have very good medical insurance and it won't cover it. I so I need to be able to find a place where I can go. Okay, let me see if I could find some place for you. Okay, do you want me to give you my city and state? Yeah, I just need your zip code. Okay, it's 48122. Thank you. Have you explained to your parents what would happen if you didn't get your medication? Yeah, they were only at the hospital with me when I was diagnosed. And I don't think they fully understood, and I keep explaining it to them, but they don't seem to care. Oh. Well, that's hard. Yeah. They aren't very educated. They they are college dropouts, but I attend the public school near us, and I'm in all advanced classes, but they they just don't understand that I need to get what I need to get. Oh, I see.
have you found any place that I could maybe go to? I have I have a car. Um, well, I don't technically have a car. I can use their car to run away. And maybe call them and drop it someplace and tell them where it's at. It just depends on how far away the place is. Because I've, I've been thinking about this for about a week and a half, and I just I want to be able to find a place where I'm safe at. <clears throat> Okay, would you like me to find a shelter for you? Yes, please. Would you consider this an emergency or a non-emergency? Um, medial, medial, uh, what's the word? Like medium emergency. I, I can probably go for maybe another three days, but then I'll have to get medicine. Okay, well, I'll just look into the emergency shelters, and then I'll look into some non-emergency ones, too. Okay. Like, what I envision going to, maybe like an adoption shelter or something, where there's lots of hot girls and lots of insulin. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Well, we'll try to get you into a place that can help you to get your medication first. Okay. 48122, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I'm... <clears throat> I'm just laughing. Bad thoughts, you know. But it's not, it's definitely not a laughing matter. I mean, obviously I know what I'm talking about, you know. Mm -hmm. Without insulin, like, my blood sugar will rise and I can die. Yeah. Like, if my numbers get too high, um, there's this disease called ketoacidosis, and what it does is I go into a coma, and, like, my dick will stop working, and, like, if I don't come out of it, I'll die, but if I do, like, there's a possibility that, like, my legs won't work or anything, and it's just it's really scary, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, that sounds really scary. <laughs> <laughs> My dick will stop working. <laughs> okay, I'm ending it. That was six minutes and ten seconds of great.